Well, there it is. The Roland RD88. I've got to tell you, if you saw my first video, it was the FP30 just a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, I had some problems with that, so I decided to return it. And it wasn't, uh, wasn't a rolling problem. It was an individual, just a lemon. It happens. I can't blame Roland for that. Um, I think the FP30 is an awesome instrument. I, I'm a beginner, so I truly didn't expect to hear or feel any difference between the FP30 and the RD88. Just a, a, a different instrument with a different setup. I was wrong. This Roland RD88, even to a beginner, an amateur, feels and sounds 100% better. It's just so smooth. The keys are a lighter touch. Uh, as Stu Harrison said in his review with Merriam Music, and you really want to watch that if you, if you want to get some expert advice. Uh, again, Merriam Music's YouTube video, uh, Stu Harrison, uh, just excellent at describing this. And he's the reason I chose to upgrade to this. Uh, he himself has a an RD2000, which is three times the price of this. And it seems Stu would have preferred to have this for himself. As you can see, it has a, a couple of small, uh, like tweeters up here. And rather than turn it upside down, I can just tell you it has a couple of larger ones under the bottom. It has about half the speaker power of the FP30, and that's because this is a professional stage piano. Um, listen to it, it is so subtle. Um, again, a lighter touch to the keys, more natural, according to Stu, like a natural piano, but I could not get that gentle, soft of a sound. If you can hear this, I'll. I couldn't get that kind of gradation of sound out of the FP30. Now, I played that FP30 for, I don't know, maybe 15 hours practicing, uh, starting from dead on beginner, having absolutely no experience on the piano. Um, and I liked it. It was, I didn't know any better. Now, this unit is about twice the price of the FP30. But my gosh, it's so intuitive on this key panel. You can see right what's there. You want to change something, just touch it. Um, it has this awesome screen here that allows you to do a whole lot of things. I just briefly went over the owner's manual. Now, the owner's manual on the FP30 was about five pages. This one's 22, but honestly, I love in-depth instructions. Even though it's intuitive, I might want to check and make sure I, I know exactly how to reach it. And that's going to come with practice and time. So I'm going to check this out farther. Um, oh, another thing about this. Honestly, this unit, now the FP30 is like this much wider from front to back, considerably wider and considerably heavier, strangely enough, uh, because this doesn't have as large an amplifier and speaker system in it as the FP30. Um, it, it weighs maybe 10 pounds less. I, don't, I didn't look at the exact weight, but uh, when it was delivered, the box was narrower and lighter than the FP30, which I just packed up. I, um, I've ordered the three pedal. It, it comes with this little flipper pedal, which is sort of an on and off, and it skids around under here, and that's kind of a nuisance, as everybody says. 
Um, I'm also returning the stand that came with the FP, this um, Roland stand that came with the FP30. It was a little bigger than necessary and taller than being useful for the FP30. However, it's an awesome stand. It, uh, stand alone, it's about $90. And right now, if you go to American uh, Musical Supply, they're giving this stand for free with the FP30. I wouldn't discourage anybody from buying an FP30, especially uh, if, if it's a learning instrument. It's half the price, and unless you've played this one, you would never have any problem with it. It's just so much smoother. Silky, as Stu said. So I'm going to get to playing for a while and um, get back. So if you... Um, if you like this video and you want to see what's coming next, um, see my progression as a player. Uh, I've had about uh, two days or three days practice on the FP30, so uh, I'll play something on this and put up a video and show my progress in three days as a beginner. That's the Roland RP88. This machine is awesome. Thanks. Hey, if you like this, press the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you can get notified of my next one's videos here on YouTube. And if you'd like to see my artwork, it's jackdiamondart.com. Because honestly, I've made my money with art and acting, not music. Just um, a fondness for it. Hey, thanks for checking in. We'll get back to you.